Hello and welcome to the Apothecarium. I am Apothecary at War and I'll be joined by Agent again. And in today's Hello. video we're going to be reviewing the Dark Tide setting. Alright, so anyway, in today's video we'll be reviewing Dark Tide, a four-player co-op game similar to Left 4 Dead. Agent, I know you don't know anything about 40k, but this will be a look into the 40k universe. And I think it's in third, first and third person, but... That's I know the Space Marine. I know a little bit. Well, it's not even about Space Marines this time around. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Never mind. You're, you're going to be at a loss. All, All right. right. Let's see what we're working with. All right. So anyway, we're going to watch the trailer first, give our little feedback at the end, what we were expected to see, what could happen, and then we'll go from there. So let's start. And three, two, one, go. Mankind, grant us strength. So what do you think? Um, it reminds me a lot of Vermintide. Have you played Vermintide? I have played Vermintide. Oh, so you are, you are into Warrior. <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't say that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, know. but you just like the gameplay? Yeah, it was alright. I, I think one of the things that I really didn't like about Vermintide is it was very melee combat based. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's got more guns, so that's cool to me. I don't know, I'm feeling more of like a Left 4 Dead compared to Vermintide, even though it's probably a fusion of best of both worlds type of philosophy. Mm -hmm. When I say the best of both worlds, I mean, the first thing you notice is like, I don't know if you notice, I think you could be a Stormtrooper or a Karskin, we don't know at this time, but the it was like the male guardsman. You see a dude who looks like an aviation captain. Well. Like a girl with a sledgehammer. Oh well, yeah, okay, so right now I'm at 26. So, yeah. if we're looking at this screenshot from left to right, you have the the priest on the left, on the far left. Uh -huh. the second from the left is the Stormtrooper Karsakin. And next to him is what a, it's basically an ogre, but because it's 40k, it's an augrin. And they're basically humans that got left on a high gravity world. And <laughs> even though they got stronger, they got more stupid in a way. Yeah. So he's he's probably gonna be the heavy weapons, heavy, yeah, heavy weapons. I mean, he's got a a knife, which is basically a sword at this point. Oh, that's like Excalibur sword. Excalibur. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's humongous. <laughs> Look at King Arthur. <laughs> that's probably King not Arthur. That's probably not gonna be his name. And then that's next... what I'm gonna call him. Okay, we're gonna call him Arthur, I guess, from now on. And then next to him is the female sergeant. And you could tell because of the comms on her, her the comms headset on her head. So who are these people they're fighting? We go to 
29 seconds, you'll see some zombies. So, I guess you could say in this world, it's basically infected by Nurgle, which is a chaos demon, and his power is like plague and pestilence. Yeah. And one of his powers is basically either bringing people back from the dead, which I think happened in one of the one of the. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the book name at the moment, but I'll put it in the <laughs> the, the bottom if I remember it. But in the other day, basically people coming back to life as zombies. So like your former comrades attacking you. So, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be part of the story, but it'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. Definitely. I saw it, and then there was also like some uh, spec ops people with the green like lights on their head. You but they look like zombies too. Alright, let me go there real quick. But I remember one earlier, I feel, where you could see that they were like zombies inside the helmets. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So those are basically, like, they're probably going to be the more advanced enemy, but they're, they're basically traitor guardsmen. Like, I, I got 51, you can see a zombie with, like, a... I don't, I don't know if that's, like, a German-type head helmet. <laughs> or maybe, like, some Mongol stuff. Yeah, and I mean, technically, I mean... That's what I'd, I'd call 40k. I mean, they got elves and orcs and ogres and probably hobbits at this point. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they're all Frodo Baggins. But uh, one of the cool things is, uh, like, obviously these are like traitor guardsmen, so they're more trained than the zombies. And yeah. I can see these guys being more of the the range, like deterrent from you from you completing your objective. Well, I for one can say that I would play this game. I'm telling you, like, it's it's a day one buy. And then if we go to, like, certain weapons they have, like like you said, the one girl has a hammer, and then I'm not sure if they're going to differentiate the like the last guns, which are, like, the standard equipment for the guardsmen. But one of the equipment, like, I know for the girl, she has a scope, or the sergeant, she has a scope, and she has a, uh, looks like a silencer, but maybe it's not a silencer. And then she has, like, a power sword as a secondary. And then... Arthur, I guess we're gonna call him at uh, uh, at uh, 103. It's gonna stick. His name's gonna be Arthur. It's Arthur. So uh, <laughs> scale over. I don't know how you get that reference, but anyway, yeah. At 103, you can see the auger, and he's got a ripper gun, which is basically like a it's like a self-loading shotgun. And uh, I'll probably put a clip of Dawn of War showing you uh, <laughs> what that what that is and what it sounds like, because I don't know if you've ever heard one go off. I, can, I heard one in the trailer. Oh, did you? Yeah, he shoots it at... Uh, well, if you just hit play at 103. Oh, yeah, right, right there. And then if you if you look at 126, they have, like, hellhounds in the game. Oh, yeah. That kind of reminds me of the... Uh, I don't I was, know if you ever played Metro. Well, I was going to say Call of Duty is probably the big one for me. Then I recently played the, the newer Call of Duty, and there were literally dogs that were, like... I guess you could say they're Nurgle dogs too, but uh, yeah, I think they poison you. It looks kind of like the uh, the mutated dogs in the Metro series. I forgot what they're called. It's honestly overrated in my opinion. Hot take. Well, then I'm not going to get it if it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then here's, and then at the screenshot for 128 from the trailer, you can see Homeboy <laughs> taking aim at some cultists covering Arthur while he's reloading his gun. Arthur, and then somebody gets laid out with a sledgehammer. The sledgehammer? Yeah. Dude, and then, like, I don't know if you noticed, but she did a prayer, so I don't know if that's going to be, like, a support team ability, so... And then, obviously, she's working for the Inquisition. So if we go back to the four characters at the main screen, I feel like, like, try to figure out their classes. Like, what do you think it's going to be? Um, okay, so if I would guess... I would guess the priest, right? It's a priest? Yes. I guess that would definitely be a support character. Like, maybe damage buffs, heals, uh, something like that. What about the weapons? Like, like I mean, we obviously we see a thunder hammer. But it's we got don't... a sledgehammer. I, I keep calling it a thunder hammer, but I don't know if it's a like a powered hammer. A super sledge? I mean, I guess we call it whatever. Because I, really, I don't know. So basically, like, there's two di different types of weapon classes for the Imperium. There's, like, the Astartes, which are, like, the Space Marines. And usually mm -hmm. their weapons are like twice as long as, or twice as big as the, like all these people are regular humans except for the Arthur over here. <laughs> and uh, his knife is as long as that dude's th like leg. So, 
<laughs> He's gonna shank people. What do you think about the second, uh, second from the left, like the stormtrooper? Like, so the stormtrooper guy, I feel like he might have like maybe some grenades or like a turret. You know, that would be like cool would to use if he does have a turret. Yeah. Gun wise, probably the assault rifle. I think he was using an assault rifle. Is he the one that had the laser rifle or whatever you called it? Well, like we call it, like, they're called las guns. And... Las guns. I just really hope, like like I was saying earlier, they just have the different weapon uh, classifications. So like the single shot, the like the powerful single shot, and then you can change mm-hmm. like the rate of fire. Like either the, like so it's like for the super the rifles, which I think the sergeant will have. Like she should, like both of them should definitely have like single shot, like single powerful shot, or like a burst fire mode, or just the regular single shot. But if they bring in the hell gun. Which for some reason I want to call the Hell Volley Gun because I've been playing Warhammer 2 Total War recently. But the Hell Gun is basically like a, a LAS assault rifle. Mm. And then hopefully you can modify your guns with like, I mean they're Attachions. shooting lasers, but like, well yeah, like tactical like gear. Like so instead of iron sights on one of them, I think I saw like you put a red dot on your on your red dot gun because <laughs> you, they're both lasers. And uh, yeah, what do you think? I don't know. That sounds cool. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think they're getting that much in debt. I would hope so. I mean, I hope so too. <laughs> you put like a lucky charm on your on your last gun. Vermintide had like some customization, some pretty good customization, I think. Hmm. Made it almost like a looter shooter. Well, you get like a cool. different bow, different uh, sword. Oh man, we should play some Vermintide soon. You make me want to play it. <laughs> I mean, like. I think for me, like, it's hard to find, like, a lobby. But then again, the yeah. game's been out for, like, a, a while, so... I just, mm-hmm. hate, I, just, I just hate playing with AI, which is going to our next topic. Like, I think that's going to be one of the features, too, is with the AI, it's going to be a... Uh, if you're not playing with friends, they're definitely going to be AI-controlled. Oh, yeah. So, definitely. obviously, they're not going to be the smartest or the sharpest. But, uh... But hey, they're going to be your team. You what? So, that's your team, though. you got to protect them. Yeah. The AI dummies. <laughs> That's going to be the name of the sports team. <laughs> the AI dummies. Yeah, it just sounds funny. Arthur? Captain Arthur? Oh, yeah, Captain Arthur. Uh, I don't think he's going to be the captain of the team. <laughs> but uh, we got King Arthur here. And uh, as you notice, yeah, he had the Ripper, gu- the Ripper gun, which is like that solid slug uh, uh-huh. shotgun. And then a giant knife. A giant knife. Well, it's a sword. We're, we're just going to call it a knife, though, because... That's, that's that's a knife for him. I'm surprised he's not wearing any body armor. Like, everybody else has, like... He's got a shoulder pad. <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs a helmet, like... <clears throat> like, he definitely needs a helmet, like... <laughs> One of the funny things, like, in Warhammer, the smartest thing would be is to wear a helmet so you don't get shot at. But for some reason, because it's like that fantasy setting... And it's supposed to yeah. be like heroic and stuff. But a lot of people don't wear helmets. <laughs> well, like there's actually, they... there's actually a, like a Space Marine chapter where because they didn't wear helmets, the other guys were like, "Wow, they're actually easy pickings." I think it was like the Thousand Suns, which are a chaos uh, faction. They basically said, "You know, <laughs> I don't." He's like, "I don't know if they noticed, but like they're basically easy headshots because <laughs> if you're not wearing armor, what's going to protect you?" Exactly. But, I mean, I guess it's like the rule of cool. And next to Arthur is uh, the Sergeant. Sarge? Yep. I'm hoping Sarge can maybe, I don't know, call in some airstrikes. Dude, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like an artillery, like maybe not an artillery strike, but yeah, like a mortar strike. Yeah. Call in some uh, radar, like maybe not call it in, but like a radar scan where you can see people come around the corner, like an OSPEC scan. Is what it's called yeah, in the universe. That would be cool. And uh I mean you're you keep comparing it to Vermintide, but like what else do you think they can add? Like I'm trying to think, like, was there certain abilities like where you can like I know in Left 4 Dead they had that pipe bomb where it'd like make that loud sound attracting the zombies. Yeah. You, you think we might have like that type of like bomb or grenade as a uh a weapon against the the plague horde? I feel like yeah. Um I kind of feel like there was something like that in Vermintide. I know I keep comparing it to Vermintide because I haven't played Left 4 Dead in so long. Um, 
But yeah, Left 4 Dead's kind of... Like, I don't want to say it's pushed to the side, but it really hasn't happened in a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing I like about this game too is like... The characters actually have like side weapons, so it's like you can be ranged or you can go melee. Like you, you make your choice. You get the freedom to do that, which is really awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, and then like I don't know if you've seen the planet or the city in the beginning. I did. So basically, it looks like the like the setting is gonna be taking place in a hive city, which is like millions of people living here. You can definitely see. I think it's the two moons in the background. I don't know if that'd be a planet. That'd be super close. <laughs> you thought the shins on Earth were bad. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that city goes up to space, and you can see the two space elevators. Well, they look more like spires, but uh, yeah, ships dock there. Nice. Yeah. Those big towers in the middle right there? Yep, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can see the scale, like, basically of people living in space. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's probably going to be the setting. Like that, I feel like that city's going to be like the the main city we're going to be going around looking for baddies and purging them and trying to get rid of the plague, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> okay, well, so next I'm up. I'm excited. Yeah, it's 140K Dark Tide. All right, so we got some screenshots. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the first screenshot, we see like a, a bunch of zombies. Obviously, they've been corrupted. And then in the back, it looks like a... Yeah, an, look at that dude in the it back. It looks like Arthur's brother. <laughs> Arthur's brother from another mother. But yeah, he's definitely... They're all corrupted. They're they are mindless. Does he have a unicorn horn? Which one? The guy in the back. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, Arthur's brother. Yeah, Arthur's bro. He wants to be a unicorn. Basically, I wouldn't want to be friends with these people. But anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I would but, definitely but, shoot them. But I like I like the environment. Like it's gonna be claustrophobic central going down these narrow hallways. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with the setting and the overall like map design. Well, I mean the universe is like perfect for this stuff. Yeah. And then like I said, being able to switch between melee and range is gonna be key. Hopefully the sound design kinda um helps with that, helps with the environment. Well, I mean, All with right. Vermintide, the music was of pretty good. Screenshot number two. Screenshot number two. We got some more zombies. But like I said, like, as you can see, it's going to be tight, tight quarters. There's going to be close quarters combat experts by the end of this game. Nothing too noteworthy in this screenshot, it doesn't look like. There's some zombies running with some hammers. Some lead pipes. <laughs> they're, probably, they're, probably the, they're probably the workers that uh, had a bad day. Had a bad day, got infected. Yeah, nobody wants that. All right, so in the third screenshot, it looks like a train station, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it's a train station. It might be. It looks like London. <laughs> the London terminal. I'm sure there is some type of uh, you know public transit system in this big old city. So it very well could be a train station. I hope it's a train station. That way I could feel like I was right. It's the metro. But it doesn't show like a, like a timer. Like, you know how at, at train stations there's usually a time? Yeah. So maybe it's something else, but right now I can't really decide. But the chairs look really uncomfortable. In the back right, there's like a, a podium. That's where you can give your speech after fighting all the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> a victory speech. Screenshot four, we have an elevator shaft. It, yeah, it looks like an elevator shaft. Dude, those those floodlights on the bottom are going to blind me. But like you said, the like the, like the environment for this game is going to be epic. <laughs> like... It's going to be intense. I can't wait to like go around the corner and get freaking jump scared by a freaking zombie spawning right screaming at my face. You know, there was a game, I forgot what it was, it might have been Republic Commando, but it was like the one of the people would always say, like, check those corners. Or maybe it was Call of Duty. Yeah, I think that was, I uh, can't remember what his name is. It was like the main dude. Yeah, whatever, I don't remember. I think it was Call of Duty 4, but anyway, we got an elevator shaft. Maybe it was Soap. soap I was a Captain Price. Yeah, Captain Price. Oh, I think it was a Captain it. McMillan. I think it was Captain Price. Arthur's probably one. Captain Arthur. <laughs> I hope he's Captain Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then in the final and last screenshot, we have a... I want to say it's a church, but a I don't temple, know. A temple of some sort. You got to do what? Is that a temple of some sort? Well, I was going to call it a church. Same thing, essentially. Well, I guess you're right. But obviously, um, like this, is, looks, this looks like it's supposed to be a bigger part of the map. And so there's going to be... Maybe a boss fight. A boss fight. Yeah, yeah, good Yeah, good thinking. This is probably where we get Arthur's brother, if he's not a weakling. 
Arthur's gonna be like, brother, <laughs> why did you betray me? I'm gonna smack him upside the head with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out when this game comes out. Release date 2021. So it's coming out this year. And then it says, like, apparently the game is a four-player co-op game. And it's set in the hive city of Tertium, as I think how you pronounce that. And yeah, I know how the game's called Warhammer 40,000. Mm-hmm. Well, that's 40,000 enemies that are going to be in this game. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Watch your bean achievement. Kill, Kill 40, all 40,000 zombies. You get the you get the secret achievement, dude. That's gonna be a long achievement to earn. <laughs> Must be. So should my expectations be really high for this game, or what? What do you think? Um. Well, when it comes to games, I'm sort of a pessimist. Uh, I never buy anything on release day, but it does look sweet, so I am excited for it. Yeah, we could like tag team and like probably make it through the first mission with our eyes closed. With my last gun. Yeah. And my chainsaw. But I do think this one might be like probably one of the best games of the year just for having the four player co op feature. It's it's kinda like that old saying, like like fun for the whole family, but instead it's like fun for the gang, the squad. For the gang. Do it for the Dark Tide gang. So wrap it up there. Thanks everybody for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, please subscribe, click on the bell icon. And hopefully I'll have some new videos up next week. I've been gone recently, but now I'm back. Whoop, whoop. Um, all right, any last words, Agent? <sighs> Nothing from me. Thanks for joining us. All righty, signing out. Bye-bye.